YouTube, YouTube, Crown Vic Nation. Shout out to everybody. Uh, checking in with you again on some good information about using a high volume oil pump and pickup tube on a Crown Vic or a Mustang. Um, they will be virtually the same. So as, I, as you guys all know, I'm using a high volume pump. Uh, let me turn it over for you so you guys can see it. So this is a high volume Ford racing fuel pump stock uh, oil pump gears. I'm not worried about those in this application. As you can see, if you look at a Crown Vix pickup, it's so definitely a lot narrower, a lot skinnier. This one's a lot thicker. Now, for us Crown Vic guys, uh, it's optional. You don't have to use it. You know, you can use it. So I'm going to show you guys what extra I had to do. Um, and also, I should state to you guys, in earlier videos, I did show with the uh, pickup, with the, uh, the little spacer thingy right here. <coughs> and the uh, bolt, I was able to get right around a quarter of an inch of clearance between the oil pump pickup and the pan. So I'm proud of where that's at. It's all torqued down. It will give you a little bit of a wiggle room to do that. So you're okay there. And uh, let me show you what I had to do further to the pan. So with the pan, as I showed you in the last video, I had, uh, saws off i cut it about right in there and then it was about right here and then when i went to test fit it i needed to come over a little more in order to remove a little more of this now as i stated i don't believe that this will cause any significant uh you know damage to the way the oil is supposed to be picked up as you can see we still have plenty of windage uh you know because it's almost the way they build these the bottoms of the oil pan um they're almost their built-in windage tray so just because it doesn't have a windage tray it doesn't mean you need one um you could you know you can almost go with the oil scraper and leave this alone and not have to worry about it you don't have to get a windage tray because everyone else does this alone is its own windage type tray to keep this oil you know set in the bottom but um if you go this route you can get a cobra uh that uses a high volume oil pump pan they will fit you can get a you know a zinc pan um from summit or anywhere else for you know a hundred and some bucks but if you're just trying to use a stock pan this is things you're going to have to do and uh let me show you so as you, as you can see, the oil pan is uh, flat all the way around. Um, I have to put the uh, sealant around in the back, which you can use like right in here. What a bead goes in here, and the bead goes over here under the uh, gasket. So it'll make against the rear main seal and the gasket, not between the pan and the gasket. So it will go seal gasket, not pan gasket. So it will go underneath here. Uh, just a nice little bead on both sides. Um, so everything, you know, when it was not fitting, this part was sticking up. So that's why I knew I had to cut some more. And also, as I uh, stated, this is, just some gray, ultimate gray JB Weld RTV sealant. And these are the brand new, uh, I think they're zinc coated uh, oil pan bolts. I'm going to torque those to specs. 
And uh, let me show you guys something also. As I keep telling a lot of you guys, this is for a Crown Victoria 2009 and a Grand Marquis 2009. Just remember that even though this is the 2009, it will go later than 2009. So if you get a, if you have a 2009, 10, 11 Crown Victoria, a 2009, 10, and 11 Ford Manual, Workshop Manual Ford, it's going to be this thick, guys. And as I keep telling you, it shows you everything you need to know about what's in a Crown Victoria, everything. You got general information, chassis suspension, drive line, brake system, steering system, powertrain, engine, automatic transmission, exhaust, fuel system, electrical. You also have instrumentation and warning system. You have battery and charging, you have audio system, lighting, electrical distribution, electronic feature group body and paint body frame and mounting you have everything you need to know and i know a couple of you guys were talking about uh the anti-theft this has a portion in here with uh, talks about anti-theft which are most likely for the grand marquis version see here it goes right here i had a guy you have anti-theft you have everything in this book buy yourself a book buy yourself a book guys a lot of the questions you would be need to answer will be in this book it breaks it down it shows you where nuts bolts and screws go it shows you that um, it shows you everything, how to test it, what tools to get, what this and that. Guys, get this book, you know, read it. That's why mine is a little messed up because I, you know, I read it. Um, it shows you how to put together the engine. It shows you everything, folks. Get this book, Crown Vic, guys. A lot of what you're doing and a lot of the knowledge that you need to know it's in this book. It has, I mean, don't get the Haynes manual. I'm telling you, you will regret it. Get this book, fellas. Mustang, guys. If you got a Mustang, get that book. This book tells you absolutely how to put a transmission back together. It shows you the ground. <clears throat> the ground. Um, this is what I'm going to actually, it shows you how to take it out. It shows you all this, guys. It shows you what to put back in there. All the, what can go wrong. And this is what I'm going to follow to help put the transmission back together. For any of you guys who are nervous about putting the crown, but see, this is the disassembly of the transmission. It tells you. And then it'll go into, here's the valve body. It tells you what's in there for this transmission. It tells you where everything needs to go. It tells you where all the boat specs. I'm telling you guys, it breaks the transmission wide open to a blowout view, I guess is what they call it. Look, they're telling you how to put everything together. They're telling you guys about the reverse, how to put it together. They're telling you. And then let me go to assembly. They have all this. I'm just trying to show you guys what's in this book if you get the true Ford manual. You can definitely upgrade uh, your drums and the transmission and go uh, eight clutch, eight steels for the direct drum. And you can go six, I believe, for the uh, forward drum. So, just trying to show you guys. You get this book. It shows you everything. And this is how you put the transmission back together. It shows you from step one. It goes on. It explains to you what bearing. Everything, guys. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. You get this book. You read it every night. 
you'll be just as confident as me. So just remember what I'm telling you. Get this book. There's not too many steps to put the transmission back together. So just telling you guys, if you have a Crown Vic, Mustang, Grand Marquis, get the Ford manual with the Ford logo or Mercury logo. Definitely if you're Crown Vic or Grand Marquis person, Mustang, you will have a Ford logo because obviously no Mustangs were made with Mercury brand. YouTube, I appreciate you. Hopefully I can spread some good knowledge. Get the book. Please, Crown Vic guys, get the book. It's $40 on YouTube used. Mine is beat up because I done dropped it. I done read it every night. And, you know, like I say, my son and kids and play with it and do it and this and that. So mine's a little damaged, but I can still read it. Get you a book. Shout out to you new subscribers. Stay tuned. Hopefully, I provided you with some good information today. Uh, later uh, videos will follow. Thanks, uh, YouTube. Appreciate it. Crown Big Nation. We are family.